Hello, Gemini. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for March 21st through the 27th. It's really good to be back, and I hope you are all doing well. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. Now, just a reminder, Gemini, these are general readings, not one-on-one -on -one readings. Some information may not resonate with you. And keep in mind, Gemini, that your sun sign is a broad picture for your entire life. Whereas your rising sign has more to do with your day-to-day -day journey and interaction with others. So you might benefit from checking out your rising sign video as well. So let's get into your reading. First card, the five of swords. Next, the seven of wands. And the Page of Pentacles. And your last card here, Six of Swords. Okay. Well, the intuitive message coming through Gemini is one in which you might be wrestling with a situation, an individual, or it could be something you're battling in regards to yourself. Could be your habits. There's something here where there's some kind of conflict. It could be an internal conflict within yourself or with others around you that you are maybe not ready to come to terms with. So it's kind of like the same energy of being on guard, defensive, also feeling defeated, but you actually are not Gemini. This is all working out on your behalf. So your first card here, Five of Swords, which can be what I'm picking up more how you're looking at a situation. It strolls down the lane of what I'm going to say a more negative mindset and therefore can conjure up some negative energy. So for some Geminis this week, you might have a conflict with someone around you. Could be in the workplace, could be in your group of friends, could be a family member, something you're dealing with where it's going to feel like a loss. You're going to have that feeling of defeat, even if no one wins. So definitely could be in the form of communication. Starting off maybe as a discussion, which then quickly goes to a heated argument. Now, for some Geminis, this could be some kind of legal dispute. And it's in regards to everyone's viewpoint. But the thing here with the Five of Swords is what action you're going to take next. This is about gathering your resources this week, Gemini, like research, get information. And for some of you, you might be making a decision to leave home, maybe move out, or it could be leaving a job, leaving a relationship. The card here says loss. So there's some kind of sacrifice or something what I feel you're giving up. And this number five energy with the five of swords is a very challenging energy. It's creating an upset that is going to be for your personal growth. So it has a lot to do with your mental energies, how you're looking at something, a situation, a relationship. And there's definitely conflict here, an argument, disagreement of some sorts. So let's pull a clarifying card. Justice. Well, definitely for some Geminis, it might have something to do with legal documents, a court case, something where I feel there's a lot of emotions are tied into this five of swords, which is kind of like a winning at all costs kind of card and energy. But the Justice card also is an indication that everything's going to work out as it was meant to be. So again, I pick up that this is going to end up being for your personal growth. Next card, Seven of Wands. Again, challenges. But this time, this is actually a card of telling you what to do 
this week, Gemini, to stand up for what you believe in. You might be protecting what you're working on for your job, maybe your work. I'm picking up maybe someone is very close or was coming very close to copying your work. So you're standing up for yourself here. Each of these wands are what you're up against. And it can be competition. It can be people around you, society, all the different challenges that you're dealing with. Now, for some Geminis, this seven of wands might be an indication you're standing up for someone else. You're putting your effort, your focus into helping someone else. I'm almost picking up that David and Goliath type energy, you know, where you're helping what I pick up like the underdog, the person who most people look at it and say they don't have a chance. But the Seven of Wands is pretty much standing your ground, standing firm for what you believe in. Can definitely be what this Five of Swords is all about for some of you. Now, for some odd reason, I'm picking up boundaries between like your property, someone else's property. So for some Geminis, it could be something of that nature. Maybe something I'm picking up small claims court. The number seven numerology of this card is dealing with things that we just don't have control over. But it's very important, Gemini, in regards to how you respond. So let's pull a clarifying card. Major Arcana card, the Empress. Okay, like that energy. Now, the immediate thing that comes to mind is for some of you, you might be finding out you're pregnant. And that spurs this kind of a discussion because it's unexpected news, information. For others, this is some kind of abundance coming in, which is not sitting well with someone around you. Could be someone in the workplace. I'm picking up envy, jealousy. Certainly, if you're going after a higher position or for some of you, uh, I'm picking up that moving again. I feel you're going to be moving to a different branch. So you might be leaving a particular location and moving somewhere else. And there are several individuals wanting the position. So definitely, Seven of Wands is an indication you're up against many different challenges, obstacles, but you're in a better place and a better position than you realize you are. So maintain a positive attitude, Gemini. This three numerology with the Empress card is something's coming together for you, some kind of new beginnings. Now your next card, love it. Page of Pentacles. And it says luck. Definitely could be a new opportunity coming your way. This could actually be either good news, a new job, some money coming in. But I'm picking up, yeah, I'm really picking up. There is a buying, a selling of properties involved with this energy for some Geminis. I feel it's a settlement. Either somebody is trying to buy you out could be a business, it could be a home, it's something of that nature. So that came through right away for some Geminis. But for you, Gemini, this is definitely an energy of good luck, kind of like a lucky charm is what I'm picking up. So definitely some good news coming in this week. All the more important to keep your mental energies in check here with the Five of Swords. So let's pull a clarifying card for this page of Pentacles. See if we get any additional information. Okay, Nine of Swords. And it's not what you think. I take this as with this Nine numerology that your worries are over. Could be that you were losing sleep. You kept running things over in your mind over and over again. But your worries are over and things are going to play out as they were meant to be in your favor. Now your last card here Gemini is kind of like your overall energy. It can be an outcome card at times and you have the six of swords and it says resolution. So again 
the mental energies. It's indicating some kind of transition. For some of you, you're traveling. So I'm picking up. Some of you are moving in regards to your job, your career. It's either moving up within the existing company, maybe traveling to a new location. Or it could be that you're moving on to actually a new company. So a completely new job for you. This is a beautiful card in energy as you're leaving something behind that was what I'm going to say volatile, something that was very stressful. Now, for some of you, I'm picking up something in regards to your health, Gemini, something that maybe you were fighting what it was you were supposed to do. So there's the conflict as it maybe didn't fit into your schedule. So it feels like something of that nature for some of you. So you were really having a hard time with that. So something to do with health and that's now going to be resolved as well. For some, I feel you're going into like a business opportunity and you might be looking in a very different direction than you had previously in regards to finding new clients. But the Six of Swords, this numerology six is an indication there will be more harmony and balance coming in. Okay, your Oracle card message for the week. And you have Flower Spirit. This is the tender and sensitive Flower Fairy, the soul of each plant. So there's an indication here, Gemini, that you're going to be a source of inspiration and joy for others around you, as you're going to really concentrate on seeing the good in all things. So this card, this message represents tenderness, joy, friendship coming in. And your crystal for the week, Amber. It says, give it to God. And the card reads, Take a deep breath and on the exhale, release this situation to God or spirit for healing and answers. Amber reminds us that spirit is always there for us. Maybe a reminder here, Gemini, to reach out for help to solve any problems this week. As you have to ask to receive. As free will choices are respected. So the amber crystal can really brighten your mood this week. It will fill you with a sense of spiritual light, helps you to connect with and heal from anything, also in regards to your past. And last thing here, I'm going to pull an angel wishes message for you, Gemini. So let's see what you get for the final message for your reading. And here we have it. Being with nature will give you the answers. Well, there you have it, Gemini. That was your messages and guidance from Spirit from the cards that you received this week. I do hope you have a wonderful week ahead. And thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And for a private tarot card reading, one-on-one. -on -one. The links are listed below to my website. Love and abundance to my Gemini family.